Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's October week three and the prompt this week is ink. Um, it's Inktober this month and Lainey Gardner, one of the admins in the Facebook group, has requested can we do something ink related to cover October? Um, so I thought why not? Now um, my drawing skills leave a lot to be desired so I don't want anybody fretting over this. We can really break this down into something simple. I'm going to be using the Elegant Writer um, marker pens today. I've had these for about four years because I bought these when I was doing the Joanne Sharp Creative Lettering course, which was, you know, quite a, a long time ago. They come in a set of four. I think you get two um, two millimetre nibs, a two and a half millimetre and a three millimetre. And these are calligraphy pens, which was why I bought them. Um, but they're really, really fun to play with because let me just grab a scratch piece of watercolour paper here. Um, they react to to water. Um, let me just grab a tissue and a paintbrush and I'll show you. You get some wonderful, wonderful colours when you introduce water to these. Um, and let's take some of that ink off because you get, you know, pinks and blues and greens. They're just really, really fun to play with. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Taking on a piece of watercolour paper um, today and I've already drawn out um, a flower that I'm going to be painting. Um, this is 425 GSM paper or 200 pounds it's um the winter and newton cotman paper so this is nice and thick because i'm going to throw plenty of liquid um, um at this today now the reason i've drawn my flower ahead of time is because my drawing skills are absolutely rubbish and i am going to go over this with the elegant writer pen anyway this is just a guide and so i'm just going to loosely sketch over this um, with the Elegant Writer pen and you'll see some really fun things start to happen um, when I add some water in a second. So I'm just going to trace over my pencil marks and then I can rub these um, out um, in a little little while. As I say, this was just to save, save time um, and to give me a bit of a guide. So, you know, cheat if you want to, um, creative license and, uh, and all that. So let's just go round my flower like this. That will do. And then we can do the um, stem whilst we're at it as well. Let's check that I'm in frame. Just really loose and scribbly, you know, nothing, nothing realistic um, here. My drawing skills are just not not up to it so you know we'll have something something like that um, and then I'm going to grab in fact I've got a piece of kitchen towel at the ready and just a cup of plain water and I'm just going to start, whoops Daisy, a bit too much water there, just start by reactivating around the outside of this flower and you'll just see some really pretty things start to, to happen. So we just go all the way around like this. I'm not touching the centre of the flower yet and I'm trying to drag um, the ink out to the edges of my watercolour paper. I'm not using too much water because I don't want to flood flood the page. I'm starting at the top and just working my way way down just so that I can drag it to the edges before it dries. These um, go permanent once the ink is dry so they'll only reactivate um, initially and once it's dried that's it I won't be able to drag it um, around any any more. So I'm just going to use plenty of water here just to drag the ink from the outside of the flower around my page and just just look at all of these pink colors I just love all the different um, tones that you end up getting it's just absolutely beautiful I don't know whether there are any other pens on the market that do a similar thing I have I have no idea and in fact when I bought these um, I had no idea that they they did this I think it was creation CC I saw um, did a video using the um, the elegant writer and I thought wow I never knew that because I just bought them just purely for calligraphy um, so there we go who knew <laughs> so I'm just going to as I say play with this drag it to the to the edge just to get some color going um, turn it around the other way because it will be easier I'm just going to um, mop some of that up in the center as well because I've just got a bit too too much there and then I will, I think, set this with my, my heat tool um, before I start doing any, any more. I'm taking the widest marker. This is the three millimeter. And I'm just going to apply some ink carefully just to the edge 
of my paper and I'm going to do this off screen because I don't want to um, make a mistake and um, you know end up with a mark in the middle of the paper so I'm just going to go round all the sides just just like this on, around the outside of my artist trading card I'm using um, artist trading card size today because of course I'm doing my calendar page for 2020 you don't have to of course you could do an art journal page um, anything you like and then I'm just going to activate this around the edge like like this um, and I'm just going to drag drag it in again and try and get that just to come into the centre. Let's see what we end up with with here. I might end up spritzing this um, as well in a second, but I just want to get the edge going to start start off with. And I think I am. I'm just going to spritz that carefully with water. Um, in fact, I think I'll put it on there to mop up some of the liquid. And let's just try and get it um, flowing. Not too much, just a, a little bit. And I can mop up any excess. I want to take that away quickly. In fact, let's just grab another, another paper towel. Oh, let's mop some of that up quickly because I don't want it going into the flower. There we go. And I just love that effect. I just want to darken this, this background. I don't want it to come too near the flower, so I'm going to have to mop it up if it starts getting too near. But just look how pretty that is. I just absolutely love it. It's just gorgeous. Try and play with this, this here. And then I'm just going to take a paper towel then and mop up any of the excess water like, like this. I just think that's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So that's what I've got so, so far. I just love how this is mottled around the edges. I want to add some more colour and I've got an idea. I don't know whether this is going to work. I'm just going to apply some ink to my glass mat here. Um, and again, I'm just going to add some around the edges just to take away any harsh lines that I might have um, ended ended up with. Let's bring in some plain water just to spread it, spread it about. You can mop that up like like that. I just really like that um, effect, and we'll do the same on the other on the other side. Again, use some plain, plain water as well just to blend it. Use my paper towel and you see when it dries, that's um, when you get the pink, it's um, when you take it away with your paintbrush it's just really really pretty. Or if you leave it to dry naturally it'll stay this lovely green colour, so maybe we can have some more, more of that. Um, just to add a bit of contrast, I really like like how that looks and again I'm just going to um, heat set that with my heat tool. So that's dry now, I just absolutely love that, I think it's gorgeous and I'm just going to do some more work now to the centre of my, my flower. Um, I don't want too much water here but I just want to activate some of that ink just to colour, colour the centre. Just work my way around and I think I'm going to leave that um, green um, because I just like the contrast with the pink that's in the in the background. I just want to add some details now to um, this daisy. So we'll just add some lines like this. Again, I can activate that with a little bit of water. It's just like magic. There we are. And I think I want to add some dots to the centre um, as well. There we are. 
put some small, small dots. And again, we can activate those. And I'm going to just dab, dab that off because I just really like that pink. But that is just so pretty. Um, what do I want to do next? Hmm, I'm going to have a I think. think. I want to add some white. I'm going to use my jelly roll pen and just add a few white highlights just to make it more whimsical. I just really like that look when you go over things with, with white. Not too much. Look at the state of me. <laughs> it washes off really easily, so you know that's that's okay. And again, we can maybe oh, somebody told me to when it stops working to do it on my hand, and that, that works much better. I might go over that actually with a bit more bit more black. Where's the number two? That's better. Um, let's activate it with a tiny bit of water. And the same with this one, this one here. And then we'll give that a quick dry. That's emphasised that, that a bit more, it looks much, much better. So I can just continue with the the white. Add a bit of white in here too. And I think I'm pretty happy with that and I'm not going to um, run the risk of spoiling it. I hope I'm not going to um, regret this. I've got the urge just to add a few splatters. So let's see um, if this, this works. So I've just put a little bit of the ink there on my glass mat. Don't overdo it, Nina. Not too many, just a few. I really like that. I really like um, how that looks. I want to add some white though. I've got the Dr. P. H. Martin's pen white ink. I'm just going to put a small amount there on my desk. Um, I shouldn't need to add any water to this because it's already ink and liquid. So again, I'm just going to add a few splatters, just not too, too many. I think that looks really pretty. I am happy with that. Um, I think I'm just going to tap it with a with a pen. Just a few, Nina. Do not overdo it. So here's my finished artist trading card. Let me just hold it up so that you can see. I just think that's absolutely beautiful. I love it. These are just so much fun to play with. Um, I have mounted it onto another piece of cardstock because I used so much uh, liquid that the watercolour paper did warp a little bit. And so this has just helped to flatten it out. Um, I then added some black sharpie marker around the outside just to get rid of the um, white lines from where I've glued the two pieces of paper together and then I've just inked it with some black soot um, distress oxide just to frame it um, even more. Now of course you know this was so much fun to me I carried on playing. Um, I wanted to experiment to see what would happen if I just added the um, uh, elegant writer to all four edges of the watercolour paper um, and then just um, sprayed it with my water bottle so um, and this is the look that I got so of course as it started to bleed in the same way that it did when um, I did it with this one I just moved all of the ink around with my paintbrush um, and then dried it um, and then I just came in and just added another layer to one of the um, edges and just blended that in as well and I've just got two really pretty um, back Grounds. I just think these colours that come out of that one pen are just absolutely beautiful. Um, and then, of course, I just wanted to make some more um, artist trading cards as well. Let me just talk you through these. Um, this one here 
I didn't bother adding any of the ink to the outside edges so this is just where I've um, added the ink around the outside of the flower so you can see the difference this one is a lot more subtle um, I personally like um, this one here because I like darker colors but for those of you that like more subtle colors then you know this kind of thing might um, appeal more to you this one hasn't got any splattering either um, but just both are really pretty um, then this one here I did in exactly the same way um, as, as this one here I just haven't um, added any extra so this one is just you know in between these two here um, I've added some splattering as you can um, see just with the elegant writer this one hasn't got any of the white splattering and then I tried this one here as well which was some um, just more of a you know loose scribbly sunflower and I just think that's really pretty as well so there we go that is my take on this month's um, ink prompt um, you know following along with my interpretation of Inktober um, so you know feel free to interpret this in any way you like just to give you some ideas of um, pens you can use think you know your fountain pens would be fun to use for this prompt this is a rollable pen um, I've got here the Papermate um, pin flare perhaps your watercolour brush pens um, would work well with this um, a pit pen so you know lots and lots of um, things for you to use you saw me um, incorporate my jelly roll pen as well um, and I've just thought of something else just bear with me I absolutely love doodling and this was some um, sheet of floral doodles that I did a long time ago um, but this kind of thing would be absolutely perfect for this month's prompt um, there's a couple more that I've done that I haven't finished yet you know just pages that I've started but you know those would be perfect you know kind of doodle zentangle type um, things I really look forward to seeing how everybody else decides to interpret the ink prompt this month um if you've enjoyed my project this week as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up because it really does let youtube know that you like what i'm doing and let me know what you think in the the comments below your comments are always appreciated so take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now